lie and your betrayal is cooking up and whipping up in your own life. And this is the thing. It's going to come back. It's going to happen if it hasn't already. If it hasn't already. Okay, you guys keep nodding here. Why? What, what, what's going on? <laughs> what's your name, Kyle? My name's Kyle, yes. Kyle. Thank you for having me. What's your story? This is my wife, April. Hi, Hi, April. Hi, Kyle and April. Go ahead, April. Ladies um, first. About a year, for a year, I had a secret from my husband that I was um, abusing prescription medication. Um, about seven months ago, I wrote him a letter and told him about it, but not after he had, um, he knew something was wrong, you know, for months. And he would uh, check my emails, he would check the mileage on the car to see where I was going, talk to my family and say, hey, what's going on with her? Um, so. Finally, it came to a head, and he said, I'm leaving with the kids if you don't, you know, tell me what's going on. So you knew something was off, but you couldn't identify what it was. Right. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty emotional period. I hope everybody can relate. Um, I was feeling separation or distance between April and I in, in, our, in our marriage, what was going on, not a lot of communication. Physical signs were starting to show up, a lot of unanswered times where she had been said this to my children, and it starts out real slow. You almost don't notice it's happening. And then, you know, months into, of course, w what she was doing, it started to take its effect. Of course, it's taken its effect on me. Weight loss uh, and whatnot. Uh, literally drove myself neurotic trying to figure out what was going on. All the things that you do, men get accused of, Unfortunately, being controlling, but I'm trying to get to the root of the problem and what find out what's happening. What's going on here? So and, really, and doesn't it make you? This is crazy making behavior. Yes. Because you yeah. knew something was wrong, oh. and you're looking her in her face, and she said, no, "I'm okay." That is crazy making behavior. Yeah. So, you feel yeah. like you're losing your mind. Yeah. So crazy, so crazy. You know, I'm starting to believe the lies myself and fall yeah. into the darkness and trying to. This is acceptable behavior, and I know. Being sober myself, this is unacceptable behavior. Okay. Uh, again, I keep just trying to emphasize how the keeping of the secret creates the shame, the shame builds on itself, and then it starts to create this toxic environment, this toxic energy, and it shows up in every, ma every uh, area of your relationships, yeah. correct? Unbelievably, yes. Unbelievably. That's so, the lesson for everybody. So uh, you knew, now you know. Yeah, I wrote him a letter and I told him everything. I mean, everything. Um, we had the big discussion, you know, I mean. Hard conversation. Uh, the Good hard work. conversation, um, probably for months, you know. I mean, it went on and on. So what on. exactly was going on? Um, I was uh, abusing prescription medication. Um, and after I told him, I immediately went and I got help um, at a rehab. Um, and, you know, from then, I, we just, uh, we started our road to recovery. Okay. Yeah. So. so have you dealt with the underbelly, what I call the underbelly? We what have... pushed you to the prescription drugs in the first place? It, it goes way back um, to my childhood. Um, you know, we had problems in our marriage. We were like two, we were like roommates, you know, um, and we weren't discussing anything. Like our marriage had just... Um, Disintegrated. Yeah. I mean, and are you dealing, working with that? Because yes. if you don't deal with what, ca what caused the problem, the problem will reemerge. Yes. We went and no communication to talk about, about everything. everything. Transparent. We have to live that way for now. us to, mm -hmm. yes, for us to survive, for this family unit to stay together. So you're relating to how the secrets make you sick. Oh, boy. Very now, let me ask you a question. What is the behavior change request that you've made of your beloved? so that this does not happen again. Is there one that you've made? I really want April to continue to talk to me about everything. Tell her. April, I love you, and I, and I just really want you to not be afraid to come to me about anything that is going on in our lives together. Did you hear that behavior change request? I heard request? him. I heard what him. did you hear him say? I heard him say that he wants me to tell him everything and to, and to feel so, safe doing it. And and she's over here talking to us uh, because she may not have heard what he said. Well, no, I'm just looking at my girls because I was right. telling them to learn to mirror back. So oh yeah. Like, and then so, you said it, so it's like. Oh, so <laughs> now I'm <laughs> correct. Know, if Mama say yeah. it, they can't hear yeah. it. But, but now you said it. Right? Now they're looking at me like, oh, okay. 
Okay. So did you did you hear his request? Yes. Is that one you're willing to honor? Definitely. Okay. So what will be the consequence? See, this is why our behavior doesn't change. We tolerate little slipperation and deviousness. Slipperation. What will be the <laughs> We have actually What will be the consequence? We have talked about this and we've actually written it down. Okay, great. Um, what is it? What is we it? call it our vision statement. Um, what we want out of our relationship in the future and what is unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable would, behavior, right. boundaries, very good. Um, what will be the consequence if you discover that she's in slippage and is not telling you stuff? It would break my heart, but I would have to take my kids and leave. Are you clear? Yeah. I, I am very it's clear. It's a deal breaker. Not only Holding for me, information but for the... is yes. a deal. This is how you begin to heal the process. Not go into your drama and be upset and then make a behavior change request with a consequence. Commit to it and, and start moving forward. Yeah. Baby steps. Here's what I want people to know. Love is durable. Love is like Teflon. Love can take betrayal and dogging and drag, and you can just chew on love and spit it out and <laughs> throw some dirt on it. Love, and love will pop right back up. Ooh. Ah. Trust is like fine china. Yeah, yes. Very fragile. Trust is very So fragile. when the trust is betrayed, that's when the work is coming. Yeah. And secrets destroy trust. So you've got to be mindful that it is grace mm. that allows this man yes. to say, I'm going to do this with you, yeah. but here's my line in the sand. Okay. Mm. I love that. Secrets destroy trust. What I also loved, did everybody get this? They have a vision statement for their marriage, for their relationship. They've now created a vision statement for their yeah. relationship that's tangible, that you can work on, that you're both moving in the same direction that's right. with. That's right. I think that's fantastic. And there's a consequence for the violation. Can you hear me? That's why we keep doing the same crazy myth over and over, mm -hmm. because there's no consequence. Yeah, that's none of that death do us part. That is, if you do this, I'm going to leave with the children. Okay because you have violated my trust. Again. Again. And see, before I didn't know, now I know. Mm -hmm. Don't let the bird build a nest in your hair. <laughs> you may poop on it and fly off. But if you stop building a nest, then you're crazy. <laughs> Mastin Kip. Mastin Hay. Thank you. What do you think?